Maybe if I wait a little longer. Everybody, everybody will go in and talk to the players, right? By, uh, by weight or by... <laughs> it's, a, it's a light, good-looking crew. How about if I say that? All right, uh, a little chartered, uncharted wa waters for this year. A little disappointed in last week, but listen, we, we put it all to bed and flushed it away, and now we're on to uh, another good football team. They don't get any easier, and I know what the record says, but quarterback's playing really good, and running back's a good player. I think these young guys on the outside are getting a lot of confidence, so that's what we're getting prepared for. Wait, With that, I'll open it up. When you see Nas Eaton, he's targeted as much as he was by a good quarterback like Josh. What's the concern level for you and Dave to... Well, I, I'll tell you what. There were two, specifically, that were as perfectly thrown yeah. balls as you could have. And quite frankly, on the first one, um, I thought we could have done a better job at disguising what we were doing. It might have helped NJ out. He was right there. If I, one-handed cat. I mean, I don't know how you defend that. I mean, I, I do one of those, you know, we line up and play defense again. The other one, we could have been a little bit tighter, and, and it was another great throw. I mean, it was close to, didn't we challenge it? I think. Yes. Um, so you're talking about inches. I mean, no, let's just imagine for a second, if we can, <laughs> that both those had gone incomplete, because it wasn't like uh, NJ had gotten beat cleanly or, uh, so anyway, so, Put those two aside. I was more concerned with some of the things that we, some of the uh, errors that we made as a unit that were uncharacteristic. I showed 11 of them on Tuesday, very uncharacteristic of our group. Had we cut them in half, I think we find a way to give Patrick a chance to win the game. Let's, let's just say that. Are those, missed assi are those missed assignments or is there? A little bit of everything. Yeah. Uh, one was communication, one was a pass rush lane, you know, I mean, it's a plethora of, and it was everybody. Like, the point I was making was everybody had a hand in, uh, we, we, when we play really good, uh, our level of execution is very high for a lot of plays. That's how we have to play. We didn't quite meet that standard last week. I was just going to ask you about basically the same thing Pete did. Is there, was there a common thread of what you of, were of what was wrong? Yeah, yeah. Not really, uh, no. But you know, the other thing, the one thing that is concerning to me is that we need to win more third downs. Last week, in prior games, there has been games where the number of third downs has been low, uh, and they've been in the third and three to four to five range. We were able to get them in eleven third and six pluses. You got to win more of those and we didn't. Um, I got to look at what I'm calling. Uh, we got to look at what we're doing. And, and there were some of those mistakes that we're talking about were in on those particular plays. What, what factor is the pass rush in, in all of that? Like, are, are you satisfied with what you're getting with that part of it consistently? I mean, look, at the, the numbers say that you wouldn't be. Uh, now, I don't, I don't measure everything on sacks, right. you know that. Um, that particular quarterback and a bunch of these quarterbacks we've played, we've had to play a certain way, and sometimes you're not getting four and five guys turned loose. You got, I think you guys know what I'm, what I'm saying. And it makes it hard. And this guy makes one guy miss, and we're off point. He can, like he did on that fourth down play. Um, I hope, you know, we're hoping to crank it up and you know, get the so-called numbers where we want them, or at least get the the hits, the pressures, you know, getting the quarterback off his spot, those are the things that we need to get better at. Does that, I mean, I know all football is complimentary, but you, you mentioned the numbers. I mean, you were second in sacks last year. And yeah. It's, it's, you know, you're off quite a bit. And I know, not talking Josh Allen alone, but just right. the, the big picture of things. Yeah. You also started last year without Charles Amena, who for six games, last year, 10 yeah. games yeah. this year, but it's pretty much the same guys. I mean, is that Yeah. It? Yeah, and I, and I can't put a finger on it. Um, maybe I'll credit the offenses a little bit. You know, there were a bunch of teams early that were doubling Chris, you know, and we, we didn't, some of the other guys didn't win. I mean, that, we all feel it. Uh, we all want to do better at it. You know, we're into November football where that's got to kind of tick up. So hopefully we can, we can get that straightened out. Carolina these, Carolina these last two weeks has, has turned it on, so to yeah. speak. What have you seen maybe um, that has led to some of that? Yeah, I, listen, they're, they're playing confident. Um, Listen, it, it can be a scary bunch when you've got a bunch of young, young guys that got a lot of confidence that are coming off a of bye week. I'm sure Andy's talked about all of that. Uh, we're in tune to it. Our eyes are open. Nobody's overlooking uh, this particular unit that we're going against. All we handle is the defense, right? 
Um, I think this quarterback feels really good about what he's doing. I think they're doing really good things with him. Um, and if we don't go out there and play our best football, that won't be good. You know, any team in this league can make you look bad. Last two, Nick and Nate. Steve, whenever you kind of, like you said, you showed the 11 plays and everything, when you get to that November, December football, how do you personally kind of get them to ramp up to where when they get to the playoffs, they're hitting it all so. Yeah, well, one of the things we try to do is, is, is simplify at times. I, th I think sometimes when you sim simplify, you play faster. There's been a little bit of that direction this week. We're always going to be multiple because we believe in putting pressure on the team that we're playing. Uh, but if everybody can just be on point and just stay in their lane, do their job, we talk about that all the time. I, we're a, when we play our best is when the unit chemistry is like that. Not anybody trying to do their own thing. We haven't had a lot of that this, this year. So if we can get back to that and not make those mental errors, I think we'll be okay. Um, Steve, it's been yeah, close to a month with, with Joshua Oche. Just yeah. What have you learned about him? What is the sort of plan to sort of yeah, maybe keep, increase this now? Yeah, I keep trying to amp him up. I mean, listen, we got a lot of guys that can rotate in there. And, and Joe tries to navigate through that in the course of a game. I don't, we don't like to have 72 plays. I think we had 72 plays in this game. We'd rather have 50. And now, of course, when that happens, you know, it, it goes down. So, you know, there's a lot of the guys now, especially in the D-line room, we're getting into some situational things. We've got guys earmarked for certain situations. Sometimes they come up, sometimes they don't. We have packages where sometimes we have three linemen and sometimes we have four. So that kind of changes the, the snaps a lot. So... But we're going to function as a unit. It's not trying to get one person number of reps, not trying to get one person number of sacks. I mean, we play best when it's 11 guys, and that's what it'll always be. And however it works out number-wise, and one game might be one way and another game might be a little bit different. So we'll see where we go from here. Thanks, Coach. Is that good? Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.